everybody. How you doing today? I'm coming to you guys today with a recap of Basketball Wives, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, so I'm just going to jump right in on last night's recap of Basketball Wives. Definitely, if you want to leave a video response, leave it right here on this video. As well, I do want to see all you guys' comments. Um, I tried to write everything down I possibly can, but if I did miss anything, please leave it in the bottom of the screen in the comment box, and I would definitely have a reply back to you. So, let's get into the first thing I want to talk about of tonight's uh, recap of the Basketball Wives. Okay, first thing, I'm going to go for the front, um, when Tammy met up with Evelyn. Okay, they have to sit down. First thing I want to say is, was it a chair or was it a table in between them that that was like the most fakest hug that I've ever seen on two women that haven't saw each other in a long time? Um, please, was it just me or did y'all see that as well? I was like, what is this? I mean, it was like you didn't want to contact with the person or something. So, Tammy, I think you probably want to check your relationship with her too because that was bougie as... I don't want to curse, but it was just so bougie. That was so fake. I, I was like, what kind of hug was that? But anyway, they did the sit down. And of course, you know, uh, Evelyn was filling her in who she's talking to. She talked to uh, Shawnee and that's pretty much it. She's not friends with Jennifer. And later on, you're definitely going to see that is about a blog. But to me, uh, again, we'll get into that later. It's more than a blog. How you don't forgive your friend of 14 years. So let's move on to the second thing. So next was Royce, Keisha, and Kenya. Okay, Royce, uh, is that's her friends from my understanding. And Kenya and Keisha are the new girls. And they was just having a nice little sit down. To me, it was one of the boring uh, sit downs of the night. Um, I can't have to talk about it because it was really nothing. So moving on. Uh, next was Susie and Royce. But let me tell you before you get on me, I do like Royce, and Royce is coming into her own. I like uh, that she. To me, she reminds me a lot of Tammy, and I see how they click because she's very upfront and she's gonna tell you. So what? I don't like you either. And so I like that about Royce, and I like how she had to sit down with Susie and she let her know how she did her own first season. Like to me, I think. Susie Susie uh, was trying to fit in the circle, something I'm sure Mika is not missing. So um, I just think that Susie was trying to fit in instead of just letting them like her for who she is. And Royce called her out on it. And I like that about Royce. So Royce, you're doing your thing, girl. So um, I like that she had to sit down, let her know how she feel. And after that, they was cool and they started over. So hey, they squashed it and they moving on just like me. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, Tammy had her sit down with Jen. Now, there was another sit down, but I don't want to talk about it. It was, again, boring. So, Tammy and Jen had a sit down. By the way, I love your bracelets, Jennifer. You got to let us know where you got them. Love them. So, of course, you know, Tammy went on in. I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. And she was just like, I'm tired of the drama. You know, it's just she has no idea what's going on. You know, Evelyn is Evelyn. And, of course, you know, Tammy was like, we all need to talk. And uh, Jennifer agreed. So, we're going to move right on into that until we see what happens at the end. So, moving on to the next thing I want to talk about. So, here we go with Jen, Keisha, Kenya, and Susie. They all met up. And I do agree at first with Keisha. How she felt like she was going through an audition to be Jennifer's friend. I just feel like my opinion, that's how it came off until it started going more and more into the clip. Then I was like, you know what? She clearly said she was just being standoffish because she doesn't know them quite yet. So, um, Keisha kind of called her out on that, but... Uh, hey, the other girl, Ke no, Kenya was like, I like bougie, but like Jennifer says at the end, you know, she could be ghetto, she can be bougie, hey, she can go both ways, so, uh, you guys weigh in on that, was she bougie to you guys, or was she standoffish, I thought she was standoffish, so, moving on to the Kenya, Keisha, Royce, and Tammy episode, okay, in my opinion, I really honestly think that Keisha, was kissing Tammy's butt the whole time. I like that you do this. And I was just like, girl, later, ne next next clip, she ain't gonna even like you. She gonna be cussing you out. So as you can see to me, I just felt like it was an okay meeting, but I just felt like Keisha was really trying to really get to know Tammy. Hey, oh, this, it was just too much. So I just would have been being there like, if she like me, she like me, she don't, she don't. But again, we shall see what happens with Tammy and Keisha later on, right? So the next one is that Jim, Susie met up with 
Tammy and Tammy let them know what the girls thought about her, which was okay. Susie got mad because, of course, oh gosh, oh, I forgot about that. Susie was way over the top. Oh Lord, like, do you have to let everybody know you're that sexual and you know how to give good everything? I mean, come on. Um, I was with Keisha, that was a little too much over the top, but again, you know, Tammy just being Tammy, letting them know, hey, this is what they said about y'all. So, boom, boom, boom. So, that was really it. Tammy was just being Tammy. So, here is the big sit down. The sit downs with all the ladies. It was uh, everybody but Royce and her friends. So, it was Jen, Shawnee, Tammy, and Jennifer. And of course, that didn't go well. Um, I honestly, I honestly can see how humble Jen is towards Evelyn. You know, you could tell she just want to be cool she don't want to be like her friend no more but i just think she's so past that and she's tired of the drama and i just think that evelyn is so over the top so right now what we're seeing i just see right now that i honestly i would check my publicist if i was jen yeah because if i didn't write it and i didn't tell you to write it you shouldn't have wrote it but jen when she told her you could stop with the crocodile tears take it to your publicist that hurt my heart and then plus when Tammy was like, you a mean beat, Evelyn. I was just like, for real? How you forgive everybody? But this one you knew for 14 years. Again, later on, I'm sure we're going to see it's more than just a blog. So, let me know what you guys think about the recap of Basketball Wives. Do you think it's more than just a blog? Because I do. So, um, I love you guys. Please leave video responses and comments. I can't wait. I'm so happy to be back. And it's more to come. Trust me, I'm back. I will definitely tell you guys on the next video where I've been and how things have been going with me, with my family and everything. So, I love you guys. And I will definitely see you guys on the next video. Deuces.